is Cleveland real estate a scam, right? Is Cleveland an awesome place to invest? Or are out-of-state investors just being lured in and losing their money on can't-lose deals? Let's talk about it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I am James Wise. I will be your guide to making money in Cleveland real estate. Now, today... Today, I'm working with Rafa and his wife, Maria, from Ventura County, California. Now, I like you guys. Rafa, you're a truck driver. Those of you that watch my show know that I come from a long line of truck drivers. Both my daddy and my grandpappy drive the truck. Well, drove the truck in one of the situations. And your wife, she is a school teacher, right? Don't get no more salt of the earth than you two. I like you guys. You guys are approved for about 200 grand. You got 50K in cash. You come to Cleveland. Because Ventura County, much cheaper than Cleveland. And that's the thing. That's what a lot of people come to Cleveland. You guys come here because the prices are so much cheaper. The returns out there, they seem so much better. But that's the real question. Is there really a lot of money to be made out here? Is it a scam? What's going on? If it seems too good to be true, is it too good to be true? What is happening? Because you sent me a deal, Rafa. You want me to look over it. It's a four-unit apartment building. Priced at $169,000, and it brings in $2,545 in rent. Boo! Do the math, folks. $2,545 in rent, and the price is only $169K. That's why out-of-state investors always come to Cleveland, because the price points like that. That's why people always talk about the prices are so low. But the question is, is there really money to be made on this deal, Rafa? Are you actually going to make money? Can you actually put this deal together? That's why you asked me, before you spend 169 can on a can't-lose deal, you come here to James Wise. I give you the real info, folks. I don't sugarcoat anything. I give you the exact outlook on exactly what you're buying so we're going to get into that in a moment before we do i need everybody to understand a couple things if you want to work with me in the same way roth is doing hit my team up sales at holdenwise.com or you can click the notes below you can book a free call there give us your number when you email us we'll get you on the phone talk to you about your wants your needs your goals what makes you tick figure out how to best position your money like we're doing for my man Rafa right after this. Two, please. Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up this deal, right? Is it a can't-miss deal, right? $169,900 for a four-unit apartment building. And the rents, oh, boy, there's a lot of rent coming in, folks. $595, on a $169,000 investment. Is this a can't-lose investment? Have you hit the lottery here in Cleveland? I know if you're coming from, like, California, you're like, oh, my God, that is an insane price-to-rent ratio, right? What did the listing agent have to say? Instant cash flow in growing area of town, 100% occupied by long-term tenants, well-maintained with all major mechanicals, less than six years old, newer roof on rear building, not much to do here except collect rent now let's talk about that right growing area of town not much to do other than collect rent right here's your photos nothing special here low-income tenants this is what you'd expect it to look like what else i don't see any major red flags <clears throat> with the building itself but i do take issue 
I do take issue calling this uh, a cash flow, instant cash flow and growing area of town. Okay, I do take issue with that, right? Here's the deal. This, this ain't a good deal for out-of-state investors. This is a crap deal. It's a crap shoot. $2,545 in rent for $169K. Even in Cleveland, folks, the prices are a lot cheaper than where you're from, but they ain't that cheap, okay? If you want to buy a quad in Cleveland, you need to spend at least 200 usually. If you're getting anything for less and it's been on the market for almost three months, there's a serious reason for it. And the particular reason for this one is this ain't what I consider a growing area of town. This is in one of the most blighted areas possible, right? This is just a brutal area. And if you pay $170,000 for that property, you've already lost money. You've lost at least fifty to $75,000 the day you bought it. I pulled up the comps. Now, this is an urban area, densely populated, folks. When I pull comps on densely populated urban areas, what I do is a quarter mile radius over the last six months, and I usually get 30 or 40 comps, okay? I have 20 comps for you on a quarter mile radius, but you know what? This 20 comps, it took me five years, five years. Why? Because this area of town ain't growing, folks. This area of town is dying, okay? Only 20 properties have sold over the last five years. What is that, like four, right? Four, eight, 12, 16, 18, I don't know, right? I think it's four. I don't know. I'm not the best at math off the top of my head. But it's a dying area. And I don't even have to be good at math to figure this out. 170 k 169 right? That's what they want you to pay. Well, what are the properties selling for? 7500 for a duplex. Fourteen grand for a duplex. Sixteen grand for a duplex. Sixteen one twenty five for a duplex. Triplex twenty four thousand seven seventy five. Duplex twenty seven and a half. Another duplex twenty seven and a half. Up, oh, we're getting into the big money here. Duplex thirty grand. Duplex thirty three k. Another duplex thirty three and a half. Another duplex thirty five thousand. All right. All right. Another duplex, 36, 37. We jumped up a little bit, 55. That must be a super nice one. You get the point? If you pay 170, you are going to be a sucker. And that's why. That is why, folks, you come here to my show. If you're out of state and you're trying to invest in the Cleveland market, you come here to my show. I give you the skinny. Can you make a lot of money out of state investing in Cleveland? Absolutely. Do I think you could do so on this property? Absolutely not, right? Just look. Look at the tail, okay? It's more. It's more than just the numbers. You got to look at other factors, folks. This is like a freaking war zone over here, right? Here's the property. Look, vacant lot, vacant lot, okay? Vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, right? Over here, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot. This whole freaking area got torn down. Vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant lot, vacant, vacant, okay? Vacant, 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 vacant. There's like seven right there, okay? Do you get the point? This is a highly distressed area. How much money you're actually going to profit on that twenty-five, forty-five in rent, I have no idea, okay? I can't tell you. Refut reputable, reputable, rah, reputable property managers like Holton Wise, we're not managing an asset like this for you, dude. If I send my team, my maintenance guys, my leasing team, if I send them down, to this neighborhood, neighborhoods like this every day, guess what? I got a turnover problem, okay? I don't know if y'all notice this or not, but this is 2021. This is uh, post-COVID, labor shortage. It's hard to staff companies, folks. Why would I do something insane like increase my turnover to an unmanageable situation, right? Leasing agents, they don't like going to areas like this. Plumbers, HVAC techs. They don't like going to areas where their truck's going to get broken into, okay? So myself, my company, biggest company of its kind in the area, other large companies, we have a couple competitors that are pretty big, they shy away from stuff like this. So who are you going to hire, right, to manage your property, right? Who are you going to hire? Somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, maybe some illegal unlicensed property managers, the property managers that can't gain market share like the big dogs, right? So 
you're dealing with an incredibly difficult area, an incredibly distressed area, super duper high crime, and then on top of that, you can't even hire quality property management companies, right? So for me to tell you how much money I actually think you'd make, what your actual costs are to actually try to give you an estimate, I can't. I have no clue. It's a total crapshoot. Out-of-state investors who are new at real estate don't do very well going after the highest risk real estate in the world. Can we get you guys real estate in the Cleveland market that has got incredible price-to-rent ratios with manageable risks? Absolutely, folks. Check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. I linked to it in the show notes below. I graded every neighborhood in the Cleveland area on an 8F scale. This neighborhood is what I would grade as an F neighborhood. You check out some D and C grade neighborhoods, oh boy, things really start to get good for out-of-state investors, okay? If we're looking at a quad with this kind of rent, we're really looking at a price point in a good neighborhood. Well, I shouldn't say good. I don't like to use the term good or bad, right? It's level of risk, right? Because every investment strategy, okay, is going to require a different type of neighborhood, right? Like if you're a local contractor who's got, a whole crew of guys doing work for you and you're local uh, and you understand super distressed real estate and you need uh, a lot of projects to keep your guys working 40 hours a week so they don't start working for other folks and they're, they're familiar with these types of neighborhoods and the rough cats you're going to deal with. You can make some money uh, in areas like this. So it's not like nobody could make money, but the out-of-state investor who's got to rely on property management companies to do everything for them can't get any sweat equity. They usually get creamed in areas like this. So I don't like to say good or bad. It's just level of risk, right? Uh, likewise, A-grade neighborhoods where rich people live, right? There's really no cash flow there either because those areas, uh, unless we're doing high-end Airbnb properties, those areas are going to be priced by owner occupancy. Okay, there's really no price to rent ratios, right? So in my opinion, uh, out-of-state investors like you guys, you're looking at C-grade neighborhoods, B-grade neighborhoods, D-grade neighborhoods. That's where you're going to get the best bang for your buck, in my opinion. Uh, lower income tenant base, but very manageable, things of that nature. You're going to be able to get companies like my company to take on the management, right? We've got thousands of tenants in C and D grade neighborhoods, right? That's our bread and butter. We do very well, cash or Section 8, right? So for out-of-state investors, this one, in my opinion, way too high risk, number one. Number two, you can't pay what they want you to pay, 170000 because you've immediately lost fifty to seventy five k as evidenced by the cops. So even a local guy who's a construction worker and has his own crew, needs to keep his crew ready and understands these neighborhoods, even that person couldn't pay $169.9 because it's priced ridiculously out of line with the rest of the properties in the neighborhood, which is why you see a quad, which again, they usually go for two and two and a quarter. This one, much cheaper than that on the market, almost three months still hasn't moved. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.